this little uh, can be clarified. We look at, for example, human beings look at them. from historical times, look at does there something very um, tragic? Okay. Does this celebrate for its tragedy and some unexpected things? That is a very natural, firm, correct, complete, Taoist, elegant principle of nature. Okay. So, uh, something like uh, even why tsunami is uh, talked about, why storms are talked about, because it causes death and destruction. That is why. We don't talk about rain and mist and uh, the beauty of the stars and the rivers in that level. See, the importance given to tsunami, that level of importance is not given to beautiful full moon days. That level of massive global discussion does not happen about uh, uh, the, the, the beauty of the forests and the mountains, right? Almost everybody is shocked by a, a thunderstorm, but almost everybody is not at all bothered about the beauty of the uh, mist being uh, blanketing upon the mountains. So, so that's a different part, Nandan. So, so, mm. Mm. yes. So, in respect to volcano, actually, discovery one of the programs it was shown that that was the thing which they learned during the ice age. The amount of carbon dioxide it uh, emitted helped the earth to actually regain the uh, heat to capture the heat and may not <coughs> radiate into the universe. So, that was the volcano which they learned during the ice age. Peak. Correct, correct. As it all, as uh, even normal creative philosophy talking about, only from destruction, construction is possible. If you want to reconstruct this building first, we will have to dismantle it. We will have to destroy a part of it. Why people are not ready to change? They have to destroy, they have to dismantle, they have to abolish, abandon certain parts of the building of their self, as it is at that point of time. It's a good point. We will discuss about it, Ayesh Kumar, later, okay? So, correctness, everything in the nature is correct. Now, elegance, elegance. Is there a single thing in the nature which is not elegant, beautiful, mm -hmm. no. elegant? The elegance of the flower, elegance of the leaves, millions of leaves, you know, millions of flowers, millions of trees, designs of the creatures, designs, you know. Have you seen the design of the flowers? Have you seen the design that is inside the corn, you know, inside the marvelous design even in the, uh, in the way the, the cane beam or the, the, the wood is forming, the design in the way the branches erupt out of the trunk, elegance. In fact, this elegance part is so visible that human beings could quickly see that. Therefore, human beings are also very quick and they have understood the value of elegance. So, human beings are elegant, the dresses are elegant, the buildings are elegant, palaces and everything is created elegant. Because elegance is, elegance is visible. But correctness is not that visible. Fairness is not that visible. Elegance, so everything is elegant. So, firm, correct, elegant. Now I am talking about slightly uh, less, less popular or less known concept called Tao, T-A-O, Tao. Tao is actually a Chinese word. Tao means nothing but in good tuning, in good flow, in good alignment with everything around. That's called Tao. Good flow. In fact, Chinese philosophy say that entire nature is nothing but Taoic. In good flow, in good understand the flow. Nothing is uh, out of synchronizes. Everything is properly synchronized. So, if a mountain is there, it has to be there. You know the concept of so-called Vastu? Okay. So, Vastu is about uh, uh, attuning whatever you construct on the surface of the earth, approximately in tune with the Tower of the Universe. According to the Tao, for example, if you take a stone in the nature, which has been there, take it and keep it somewhere, you are already varying, you are already violating, perhaps, you are already changing the original Tao of the nature. Understood? In fact, in Japan there are Zen gardens, this is the Zen garden, created by human beings, and Zen masters claim that if nature would create a garden, it would be like that. Okay. So the replacement of stones, buildings, plants and all, according to their perception, is in good tuning, in good tower within it. 
So uh, your actions are in Tao with the requirements. Uh, you are able to absolutely in good flow, FLOW with the things and events and episodes and people and phenomena around you. Whether your own uh, uh, activities of managing your body is it in good Tao with the, the body process. Are you eating properly? Are you sleeping properly? Are you sitting properly? Are you managing the movements of the body properly? I mean in Tao. And so many implications. So firm, correct, um, elegant, tau, and fiery, complete. There is no tree which uh, stops in between. It goes to its completeness. The design of everything is complete. You can say its firmness is complete, its correctness is complete, its elegance is complete, its tau is complete. So completeness is the ultimate. And in like, you know, Indian Veda also, in the Rigveda there is a famous uh, um, uh, part of the verse which uh, Professor Alokuwar must have already told you, Purnamada, Purnamidam and so on and so forth, right? He must have told you. And I am talking about the final part of this. Purnat Purnamudachive. That is, uh, from completeness, only completeness is possible. Unless, I, unless you are complete, how can there be completeness of action from you? So, complete. So, uh, in that flow of talking, in the Tao of talking about it, we say firm, correct, complete, elegant and Taoic. And that we adopt, or rather I suggest to you, I suggest to the entire world of people, to adopt these principles of the nature. Firmness, correctness, complete, tau, and elegance as the fundamental principles of their, their response to the world, their behavior, their speech, their actions, and their relationships. And these five principles of the nature process and its relevance to the uh, Taoic, Taoic existence of the corporations and the human societies we are proposing to the world on this day 13th of uh, November 2011 Thank you On behalf of this uh, wonderful young minds in Chandragupta Institute of Management uh, Patna I am dedicating this talk on behalf of Genius Choice Institute to the world. It is a proposal to the world, of course. It is your choice. It is the choice of the world. It is the choice of the organizations and institutions and people of the world to adopt it or not. That is why I call Genius is a Choice. Bye. Yeah, once again. The awareness process is always in the present. Okay. Okay. So what does it mean? Yeah, what does it mean? Awareness process is always in the present. What does it mean? Awareness is in right now ongoing. You are not right now aware of just one minute back. You are not right now aware of what happened yesterday. You are not right now aware of the, the, one of the most beautiful experiences you have had uh, at the age of 10. Awareness is an ongoing process. Right now, right now I am touching you. Okay? Right now you are aware of it. Now you stop touching. You are not aware of it. So awareness is always at the given millisecond of process. This was it may be, uh, why do people call it six N? Six sense is something that uh, that uh, make people aware about the future. Like uh, what is going to happen, I realize myself, and the same thing happened in the in the future. I don't know whether people call it six sense or not. I mean, what all it is? Uh, that is actually a slightly unrelated question. Subhi Pradarshini. I am Garima. I am Swati Singh. I am Jyoti Anand. I am Amrita. 
आम कुनाल यशराज आमर पता आई एम निखिल जायसवाल आई एम राकेश कुमार सिंह आई एम चंद्र प्रकाश आई एम नंदन सिंह आई एम श्रेष्ठा आई एम रिति आई एम रचा आई एम आभास अमर आई एम प्रियंका आई एम सौरव आई एम मनीष वर्मा आई एम राकेश आई एम आदित्य कुमार आई एम रुचि आई एम सुमित कपूर आई एम पंकज कुमार आई एम सौरभ निशान आई एम आयुष कुमार आई एम राकेश सिंह आई एम हर्षवर्धन आई एम मुकुल कुमार आई एम श्रवण आई एम श्रवण आई एम स्वर्णिम लता ओके रेडी On behalf of the processes of the nature, on behalf of the processes of nature, and the processes in my entity, and the processes in my entity, I promise to myself, I promise to myself, that I will try to be, that I will try to be, firm, firm, correct, correct, complete, complete, elegant, elegant, and towering. in my thought in my thought in my responses in my responses in my action in my action in my behavior in my behavior in my work in my work and in my relationship and 